before we office hours. Point and shoot. Oh. Caught a body last week. Yeah, I'm sure did. Yeah, he and got into was, a beef with a scratched off serial number. Uh, Trevor tried to expose. So they've already, they've always had this little beef back and forth thing. Hey, Trevor is the context real quick. Yeah, Trevor is the main cameraman that's from No Jumper. Yeah. Him and uh, Point and Shoot. Are from the same are from the Sacramento. They're both from Sacramento, and they're both Sacramento videographers. And what I didn't know about Point and Shoot is that apparently this nigga is like a Sacramento legend, uh, as far yeah. as like on some videographer shit. That's like a fact. he was talking to Bill, like I'm actually very known in, yeah, in the yeah. projects. Yeah. <laughs> I was like Point and Shoot talking, yo, yeah. shit. So he's a gangster thing. So in the last video that Point <laughs> and Shoot, that name. the before Trevor did this video, Tre Point and Shoot did a video. And he was like, uh, Trevor, like he threatened Trevor, like, don't play with me. If you bring my name up again, I'll attack. I won't just attack you. I'll attack your friend. Mm -hmm. I'll attack Heather. I'll attack T-Rail. Flacco. You know, he was like, I'll attack everybody around you because you're not important enough to cover. Long story short. Ooh. Trevor was like, oh, okay. So Trevor decides to drop his video mm. to expose point and shoot. And to be fair, I wasn't even sure what to think. Points were laid out that Trevor made, and I was it's like, "It's a very." And I was like, "Hmm, I don't like this video at all, just because it's boring as fuck." It's mm -hmm. a little boring, but for all intents and purposes, points were made. Like, and I don't, I don't know what the truth is, so I have to take what you're saying as the truth. So there was this artist that point and shoot did a video for, yeah, and apparently the nigga died. Mm -hmm. So his friend, yes. who was the artist's friend, who was also hit, in the video, who was also in the video, hit up point and shoot. It was like, yo, the homie died, of course. Yep. We need that footage back. Yeah. But Point and Shoot had already paid Trevor, for Trevor right. to do it. To do it. So he had told the nigga, was like, well, I need my money back that I had paid this nigga to do it. Because I've already outsourced this video footage right. editing. So right. I'll be down 300 and 3, 500, film. I think. Oh, no, 300. No, yeah, 300. 300. 300. 300. So yeah. that's kind of where all of this started because <laughs> the rapper nigga is telling people that Point and Shoot is a fuck nigga. Because yeah. he won't give the footage up because... You know, his homie died and his, his footage. I was a little worried for point and shoot because at first when he was saying this is the first time he's actually fully broke down why he don't fuck with Trevor. Yeah. Now, when he would kind of lightly touch on why he didn't fuck with Trevor before, I was kind of confused. It, it felt really petty. Like, it felt it was really. No oh, he didn't give me no credit. <laughs> yeah, it felt, it felt like felt that. Like and that, I was yeah. like, I get that. But I'm like, damn, he really hates this nigga. But. That was um, another big part. But it was just like, whatever. I, get, I guess this is some Sacramento shit. You know, I got beef with niggas from my city. You know, it's like, whatever. He don't like him for that reason. It seems kind of oh. petty. But until this video, when he laid it out, yeah. how this other niggas messaged him from his other, the passed away homeboy's and Instagram profile. Is, I'm like, oh, he really don't. Okay, I get this, it now. I fuck this nigga. Like, this you really don't video. fuck it with was, this nigga. Yeah, and apparently Trevor. Everything became justified, like, for me, mentally. Like And Trevor tried to cut him out. Which is like a creative mm -hmm. sin. You trying to cut another creative? Side. That's because yes. it's a it's a crazy game. Especially videographer side. So it's for like sure. Trevor tried to cut point and shoot out, and point and shoot was like, "Man, you tried to cut me out yes. on top of the on top not of, doing the video." And on top, and this yeah. is, that was the biggest thing. Point and shoot did so many things correct in his response to Trevor. He killed Trevor. He like, broke yeah. it down really well. He, he he cooked Trevor in his response. Mm -hmm. Trevor tried to come at his appearance. His age. Point and shoot took two minutes just to roast himself in his response video. Yeah. I said, oh, this is this is yeah. great. Not only did he roast himself, he discredited Trevor's main witness or accomplice. Like he also mm -hmm. called out an insecurity of Trevor. He did. He broke he bust that shit down. Insecure he, about his age. Yeah. 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 You I know mean, what I mean? Turning 30 Trevor. is a very <laughs> Almost 28 or 29, something like it's that. It's a mind-boggling thing turning 30. You getting old, pimp. Yeah, and he was like, he's like, Trevor, he was <laughs> I'm like, just not only did Point and Shoot really flex on that nigga. Like, he he flexed crazy. The nigga Point and Shoot showed us how much money he was making. Bro. He said, what? He's going crazy. <laughs> nigga, he did? You yes. really don't even need to watch. I watched the video. I didn't, yeah, I didn't see that. Yeah, I didn't see that part. Y'all really, really, missed that? Now. Yeah, I didn't see that part either. First of all, let's just remember, the biggest thing that Point and Shoot makes sure he reminds Trevor is I'm doing better, better in you. life yeah, than yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fuck all and this that other shit. True. I'm doing better, nigga. He said, he said, I'm getting money. Let's not get it fucked up. He said, 
Look at my Patreon. He's, this nigga's getting like eleven hundred, a thousand to eleven hundred a month in his Patreon. Shit. Then he then he tried to and mind you, Point Shoes Patreon is only three dollars, y'all. Right, right, right. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. Do the math. Do the math, nigga. <laughs> He's got like nine hundred and nine people. Yeah. Then he already did it. <laughs> no, no, he, he showed us. He, the nigga showed uh, like yeah. he he flexed on this nigga. He was trying to say like Trevor was trying to diss him on his age, and he was like, Point Shoes, thirty six years old, making content for. For fucking kids, like grow the fuck up. He said he showed his analytics. He said, oh, "Excuse me, uh, my fan base is older." They're, yeah, he's like, yeah, "This is an educated fan base. Like yeah. they're here for these roast sessions that yeah. I'm putting on. Like yeah. that's exactly why we're here." People nigga, watch I'm, him. Nigga, I'm 33. I'm I'm in. I'm locked in on the point and shoot shit. I was you know? about to say, people watch him for the same reason they watch us. It's to not watch what people yeah. don't want to watch. You feel bro, me? Bro, point point and shoot made no con mo, no jumper content better. Like. Yeah. It's like I can't even stomach watching No Jumper news on a regular like that. Like I yeah. don't want to watch No Jumper. I much rather see a clip. Maybe I'm damn sure not. I'm not watching no full point No Jumper shit right now. Yeah. But I might watch a clip. Got a corn and nigga, What the fuck point and shoot got to say? I'm gonna get everything I need to know from it. Well, yeah, you he's, will because he's I mean, gonna cover it. This video, you really don't even need to watch Trevor's shit. Like this, you don't. He, he, he gave us Trevor's video. He put them both together. He put them both together. He made yeah. the whole thing. He cooked that nigga, bro. Yeah. 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 And at first, when I was watching this, because I watched this without knowing it was on the, the shit, which is actually is coincidental. Oh, you just, like, you yeah, just like yeah. watch it. Yeah. This is okay. a long ass video, it's but it's minutes, worth yeah. the 40 minutes. It's worth it. He had to minutes. do it because it, he's not going to be talked about again. Because this nigga played with me. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And it's, I already threatened you. And I, cause yeah. like when Trevor dropped his video, niggas was in the thing. They said, yo, Trevor dropped. Yeah. And then I put in the comments, I said, look, Trevor's video was boring, points were made. <laughs> The sheriff got 48 hours to respond. Uh, How many saying. likes you get? At like 25. Okay, okay. And okay. then within 24 hours, yeah. I had to salute him. He saluted us back. He yeah. said, shout out to AJ, Tone, and Jay Nobles. Yeah, in, yeah. In the comments. Oh, you know shit. what I'm saying? Point and shoot is the homie. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, because so, yeah, please shit. don't shoot us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah nah, please. Yeah. You, and it was funny, too, because it's like, it's so, it's just like, I love like how his, his uh, satire and how meticulous he is. Like, yeah. Even when he was saying, it's like it's it's objective hate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because he was he was talking about himself like, yeah, like look at me. It was a bad photo. I was sick. It was pollen in the air. I'm, <laughs> nigga, I'm yeah, not the best like, looking man, but yeah, I, like, I look regular. I look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said, "That's why I tell people don't be a paramedic." I was out saving lives, getting fat as fuck. Yeah, he was like, yeah. "I look like a inf I look like an air mattress losing air." Like he cooked himself for like two yeah, minutes he, straight. He nigga. cooked the shit out of himself. And then Trevor's <laughs> main person that he's getting the Mike Winters inner information and the point and shoot information about, um, yo, he destroyed that nigga. Mm. That, whoever, yeah. that rapping nigga is yeah. a clown. I'm like, God damn, he cooked yeah. that nigga too. Because apparently he was telling, you know, point and shoot, like, yo, you're not good to come in the hood no more. Yeah. And apparently point and shoot to that <laughs> ultimate disrespect, like, yo, whoa. He said, excuse me. Uh, the, like, my the, name is probably better than yours. <laughs> that nigga said, the, <laughs> the, the suburbs? Finest, he said, I'm not, yeah. I'm not good in the suburbs? Yeah. Excuse me? You got me fucked up, nigga. <laughs> like, come on, man. Skip to, are there any high points and in this? I like the way point and shoot, uh, point and shoot is a white man, and he's not like he doesn't try to not be that because when he was talking about like yeah start there a little bit back he was talking about whatever hood nigga he was like like y'all don't understand like trying to like gather these gang members together <laughs> yes, yes, and like yes. have a, a functional like video shoot he it's was like, hard. Yeah, he was it's like, almost you, impossible. Yeah, he was like, but you don't know what it's like dealing with these hooligans. He said, <laughs> yeah, he, he did, I was like, oh he shit, said, I said, what you crazy. Like, oh, shit. Then he said, that's because you over here shooting for these type of artists, just weak shit. He said, I'm yeah. in the trenches, nigga. I'm I'm good in yeah, there. He said the trenches. <laughs> yeah. I was All right, like, oh, let's, shit. let's let's play on this. I'm gonna link this I'm video either you. way. Which you understand why I said Mac J. And, and really, it's he like you should understand as a content creator yourself who used to try to do interviews and shit I'm doing now. That sometimes, you know, when you're interviewing somebody, you get a little flustered. You you don't really have a clear brain. Shit is kind of like when you were interviewing DB. It's probably gonna be awkward again because I'm I, I get kind of nervous like putting nah, on my own good. thing. But so that is true. I did at one point try to do like an interview based platform uh, to try and you know do something other than music videos because I was trying to segue myself out of music videos as I no longer enjoyed the sport. 
And so I did try to host some interviews, but I was terrible. Okay. And I recognized that very quickly and I quit doing them because it just wasn't my thing. And I didn't feel like it was really going anywhere. You know what I mean? Kind of like how Trevor Potter never really went anywhere. He's still in the same exact <laughs> position he's been in for the last 10 years. That could never be me. Jesus. So, you know, Trevor's very uh, bitter about that. I really should have told uh, EBK and Jock and Sloby that, hey, you know, Mike Winters, he sent me this video because he didn't know how to edit it. And he needed me to sauce it up. Like, I, I probably should have told him that. Uh, so you're saying that you should have just uh, told the truth and kept it 100 and just, <laughs> you know, this would have never <laughs> been a big deal, that. which it's not. In real time. And really, my issue with this whole thing is just how we went about it. So I dropped the interview with EBK Hit and Jock and Slow. I really didn't like Trevor's video. I really didn't. Because it was like... He's a video editor. It's like, nigga, can we get some, can we get some keyframes in and out or some shit? It's like, it's just it was stagnant camera. Way, yeah. Then he kept saying, Mr. Winters. I was like, could you stop saying that? Because that sounds, it sounds awkward. It's like, you're trying to address mm -hmm. him. You're trying to diss him by addressing him as yeah. an elder, but it's not hitting the trying same. Trying not to acknowledge the point and shoot name. Trying to like. It was weird, yeah. man. Uh, yeah, you're re not reaching, but you're just trying. You're yeah, trying really it was, hard. Yeah. Yeah. We could tell this was like your first. I can tell this was your first video, like really clapping at a nigga, like for real, like mm -hmm. on some on some content shit. And, but point and shoot is way too battle tested, bro. Like yeah, I don't bro. even know. I I think you thought you had a banger for real. Like you could tell he was talking like he had a banger. I don't know Dude, what's going damn. on, which is probably why yeah. he fucked that up because he thought it was gonna be too easy. Yeah, I think he thought. Yeah. I think he definitely did. Y'all good? Yeah, yeah, we oh, good. Okay. Yeah, we well, no. actually, we're actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> we're not good. It's not okay. Wait, wait real quick. Side note. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I just got the sudden thought. I was like, I gotta host a show in two days. I don't got a fucking haircut. Yeah. So I was just real quick while the video was playing. Yeah. Let me just, you know, do my little thing. Check my barber app. Yeah. Nigga, my barber raised the price five dollars. A regular haircut costs thirty five dollars. No facial sure? hair. So he let's just, continue though. No facial hair. Just no his, facial hair. What? No facial hair. Facial hair is forty five. Facial hair is forty five. What? I don't know what to talk about. He just kissed his tip goodbye. Yeah. I'm always, like, the haircut is supposed to be $30, and I give him $35 as the tip. Me, but if I'm already paying $35, like, it's like $35 nigga. is already crazy. 35 is, yeah. I, it's like, I do, bro, I get all of it for $30, and that's with the tip. I ain't going to lie to you. So $30. But that's because you grandfathered in. Yeah, I'm too. grandfathered like, in. Like, literally, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Low key, I am. How yeah. long you been getting your hair cut by this nigga? I mean, it's been a while. That's like, how it is over probably, for me at, at the yeah. at the one over there. It's like it's been like ten years. It's yeah, like I had like a good ten year relationship where even by the time yeah. I was just getting my beard done because I was shaving my own head, I was still getting like kid prices for my beard, like they got kid beard prices, like ten dollars, like like <laughs> like ten dollars <laughs> for my beard. It was like six or ten dollars, hey. but I would like bring my nephew too to uh, make it worthwhile kind of uh -huh. thing. You know what I'm saying? Do both at the same time. But like, you just $10 for the beard. When I go to like these other barbershops, they're trying to hit me at $25, $30 for just my beard type shit. Nigga, point and shoot, DM me so I can, you could write a hit piece about this nigga. nigga. I'm about to <laughs> fuck this nigga whole shit up. Uh, let me see you buffer. That's crazy. Like, scroll through the buffer. I wanna... You think if we talk to him, that like, <laughs> like we'd be okay? <laughs> Hey, you remember I've been on Joe Budden, right? I, I think we're as high as, uh, we're as big as clans, right? Uh, you know AJ the Menace? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, nigga, I'm like that. <laughs> you know me, nigga. You heard of AJ? He's Okay, go back. So this, is what, this is when he started roasting himself. This is a little bit more. Mm. No, no, the other way. Yeah. Go right, right there. With me, begging me to shoot. I mean, countless bloods, countless nope. pyrus, countless people. I mean, here's a DM from Freeway Donnie asking me to come shoot, and I'm just being very respectfully open and saying, no, I don't do that anymore because you uh, fuck with Mac J, and I don't fuck with Mac J, so I'm done. And this is how this narrative started. Mike got banned from sack. I quit. So this is the classic uh, you can't quit, you're fired situation, which is very low. I also challenge you to show your face. I mean... So this is where he starts making fun of my appearance, which I 100% support. I support 100% <laughs> people making fun of me or anyone else. I think it's totally fine. But if Trevor has a problem with me doing it, then why is he... Is it because I don't show my face? Well, there's a very simple explanation why I don't show my face. That shit is kind of bunk to me, like, for real. Like, all that famous and everybody knowing your face and all that shit. Like, that shit cool. It ain't, it ain't all that. What it, you feel me? What it look like on Instagram. Nigga, that shit is bunk, bro. 
I so, know that uh, kind of blows my mind, especially even with social media, like people being able to recognize you, but you can't recognize them. Yeah, like shit they crazy. know who you are because they <laughs> see you going up. That and bunk. I'd rather just get person. this bag. This is the only picture I have of him. And, you know, looking at it, there's probably a good reason why he hides his face. Because, I mean, shit, just look at him. He looks like that, uh, he looks like that creature from the Goonies. And this is an old picture. So Trevor's literally doing point and shoot. He's copying, <laughs> like, he's doing exactly what he's criticizing me for doing. But he thinks that it's not bullying if you show your face. It, no, it is bullying. It's absolutely bullying, and I 100% I agree that it should be done, and I support it. I mean, look at this fucking picture. I mean, I, I look uh, like uh, an air mattress that has a hole in it. I, I look absolutely ridiculous. Look at how fat and sloppy. I mean, really, I deserve every bit of that. I mean, could you even imagine living inside of this body? Uh, and this is a public service announcement. No one should become a paramedic. This is what paramedics do. They get fat. Being a paramedic will take you from like a gym rat athletic body type into a fucking, you know, built like a plate of mashed potatoes in no time. OK, and that's what I did with my life for a long time. I was a paramedic in Stockton and up in the mountains. And I used to save people's lives for a living. And I'd sit around in ambulances for 12 hours a day. And the stress and the, you know, psychological trauma of the job really makes people gain weight. Seventy five percent of all EMS workers are obese. So please, for whatever you guys do, if you guys decide to become a paramedic, <laughs> do it on the fire side. Become firefighter so that you can oh, exercise during the day and you won't be stuck sitting in an ambulance all day waiting Wait, for people to call 911. This is a tactic. And so I'm so happy that I'm... This is a tactic I want to get good at. Yeah. You know what I mean? Learning how to like piggyback off of like some... I mean, no, arms of like some sad yeah, shit. Yeah. Like actually, yeah. you know, I'm a victim. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He, Trevor thought he had one. Like, he, did. Actually, he, nigga. he thought he had one. <laughs> Hold on, I think this is where he really starts going. Oh, oh shit. I'm no longer a full time medic, and that I can actually live my life and not be a fat, disgusting slob as I once was. But I agree with Trevor. I mean, just look at me. I, wh what am I thinking about? It looks like I'm thinking about, like, should I hurry up and go take a shit right now or, or wait till after the shoot? I don't know. This pad tie is fucking my shit up. So yeah, so Trevor is doing point and shoot. He's roasting me for my appearance and he thinks it's okay for him, but no one else like me. So I thought that was important to show. This is probably like four or five years old. So you could probably tell he's probably put on some more weight and aged a little bit more. I just don't respect anyone who's body shaming and kind of hating on people and they're not even able to show their face. Like at least Flacco pulls up and he tells you how it is to your face. Like that's the most respectable thing in the world. Trevor Potter thinks that uh, Flacco is respectable. He has the camera right on him. So you could hate as much as you want. You can get your clicks and your views, but just know I know the real you and you're not like that. I just like to take this time to respond to some of the shit he said in this back on a fig reaction video. <laughs> He claimed that he doesn't go back and forth because it's beta? Bro, just say you don't have hands. You saying you want to attack my co-hosts and my sponsors is just like the biggest bully shit ever. And you know who bullies people? People who got bullied. So hurt people hurt people. And I just want to leave you guys this with that so information. Weird. Uh, so Trevor's bullying me and making fun of my appearance probably because people have made fun of his appearance. Okay, I don't know what, if, if that's the point he's trying to make, but he's literally making fun of me just like I make fun of people. But he's saying that, you know, on, the only people that do that are people who got bullied. And Trevor looks like he's from Whoville. And this is what he gets made fun of for all the time. He just gets blasted for looking so funny like a Whoville character. And this is probably why he's lashing out at me because he's hurt and hurt people hurt. Do you understand? This is a really <laughs> hurt individual. I yeah, he he just it's a beautiful video. He, man. Does, look like he does look like a Whoville character. character. He, he really does. Really but, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, man, I just, I couldn't leave Point funny. and Shoot out of this episode, man. That, that was, it was fantastic, man. Nah, shout out to Point and Shoot. I had no idea he had, like, real street beef going on, nigga. Yeah, point and Shoot is that nigga, bro. Yeah, he's, he's, he's the, that shit goes crazy. Make sure you can aim before you fuck with this nigga. Okay, um, man. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. I was about to say, yeah. And I didn't know his real name was Mike. Winters. I was Mike like, Winters, I, right? I don't know why I needed to know that. But Cold nigga. Mike Winters. <laughs> this is kind of dude. He kind of like a Fox News dad. He got a Fox News dad name. He got the Fox News dad build. That's definitely like, yeah, that is some anchor sh name for real. Um, 